Hello everyone, Peter here. I'm going to make another wood burning. I just thought I'd show you uh, start to finish what happens. I went to a woodworking shop and I got a couple of uh, pieces of wood that look like this. This is actually called box elder wood from the box elder tree. I don't know what it looks like on the outside, but on the inside it looks like this. It's got these uh, natural pink striped things in it, which I think will look really cool in a wood burning. So what I'm going to do is uh, somehow figure out how to cut some pieces from this that I like and, uh, and go crazy, you know. Let's do it. So now I'm just uh, drawing a line where I'm going to cut with a table saw. I think, I think right about here looks good. So I've got this square of wood, and because it's so thin and soft, kind of, the table saw actually chipped a corner off of it, so I'll probably just uh, use a sander and just make all the corners kind of beveled, and then sand off some of these uh, sharp edges on the, on the edges. This is the same belt sander I jammed my thumb in earlier. It was on and my thumb got stuck under this thing like that, and now my thumbnail is coming unattached, but, you know. Now I'm going to use this 400 grit sandpaper and just soften up all the edges. And here we are. There's the wood and a quick view of my wood burner. I'll post a link in the description to the website of the store where I bought it and the specific kit I bought. So for this one, I stared at the wood for a long time, trying to decide on what sort of thing to draw on it. I couldn't settle on anything, so I went and took a, a long shower. I just stood there, marinating in the hot water, letting it soak into my brain. The piece of wood and its peculiar pink designs was burned into my head, into my mind's eye. And so then the rapid slideshow began, legions of shapes and tones, Twists and straights, rigid and fluid, natural and man-made. They flitted through, projected upon the wood. After the shower, I sat at my desk once again, and at some point the process became complete. I would draw a bonsai tree thing on it. I started with a light pencil sketch for this one, since there was something somewhat specific I wanted it to look like. Then I jumped right in. I used a ballpoint tip to do all the outlines on the tree. The trunk, and the branches, and the clumps of leaves. Then I moved on to a couple of different blade tips for the rest of the drawing. The border and some of the lines for the ground beneath the tree was done with a straight blade tip, and the shading for the tree and some of the other t lines were done with a curved blade. If you want to get into this sort of thing, I recommend you just... Take the tips and mess around a bunch before you do anything too serious. I filled up a whole board a little bigger than this one, with just random lines in an effort to familiarize myself with the tool. I used Google Images to search for pictures of bonsai trees to use as references. It worked well, I think. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I used some natural finish on it, and it made the pink tones uh, pop out and almost become red. Just fun to look at, I think. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. Um, you guys are awesome. Hope you have a really good day. Bye.